Over 30 students of the University of Cape Coast have been arrested and detained at the Central Regional Police Command to assist in investigations into the Ugwa and ATL Hall's vandalism. The UCC SRC in a statement says it's engaging stakeholders to see to a positive turnout of the arrests which were made by the police in Kumasi Friday night. Our correspondent uh, Spencer Kwabuna Boating Mensa is joining us uh, on the line with more on this. All right, so good afternoon, uh, Mr. Spencer, and I need to hear from you uh, what the current uh, update is uh, in relation to the arrest of these 34 or so UCC students. Good afternoon, Mr. Steven. So the Public Relations Officer of the Central Regional Police Command, DSP Irene Opon, has confirmed to me this arrest and detention of the 30 UCC students as of mid-morning. And uh, we have gathered from the police command that they are assisting investigation into the Guaho and the ATA vandalism, which happened in February and led to injury of some students, destruction of properties, and subsequent suspension of Halloween celebrations on the university campus. Now, what the league is saying that uh, they are, uh, these three uh, 30 students have been suppressed and have been behind cells without being charged for an offence beyond mm. 48 hours. And what we know from case law is that the carrying out of investigation is not a justification for the continuous detention of an accused beyond the right. 48 hours as provided in the 1992 Constitution. And Stephen, if you remember, Justice Sophia Kufu in her last decision as a Justice of the Supreme Court said, stated in December 2019 that that within 48 hours runs immediately after the person is charged and detained and the hours include weekends, therefore making the weekend excuse on the premises of Article 14.3 for detention unconstitutional as it infringes on personal liberty. And these students were allegedly, allegedly arrested Friday night at Key University Gate and according to the league were held at the Ashanti Regional Police Command until Saturday afternoon when they were escorted right. to the Central uh, Regional Police Command and have since remained in their custody. Uh, Stephen, it's been almost half of six months period within which the Supreme Court ordered the IGP to sensitize the personnel or his personnel on this legal decision right. that followed the mm -hmm. Martin Pebble versus Attorney General case. So this detention might probably be raising uh, questions in the minds of members of the Economic Fighters League, UCC chapter, Right. who is now calling for the immediate release and uh, compensation as well for these 30 UCC students. Mm. But Spencer, what I need to find out uh, from you, I'm sure many of our viewers uh, will also be wondering how come that these students were actually arrested in uh, KNUST campus and it's in connection with vandalism at UCC. I don't know where uh, the, the, the police draw the lines between the arrests made on U, uh, KNUST campus in relation to something that is supposed to have happened on UCC campus. So, interest, uh, interestingly, according to leader of the league, Fedel Ose Ajuman, these students have traveled from the University of Cape Coast to go to um, KNUST to attend the Unity Hall Week celebration. Mm -hmm. And at the gate of that university, which is currently under security zone, police uh, ask that they escort these students who had arrived from uh, UCC to the campus. But unfortunately, their dreams to re uh, realize the celebration of that um, whole week in Kenya University ended them up in the Ashanti Regional Police Command. Right, uh, Spencer, grateful for your time. That's our reporter, uh, Spencer Kwabnabwating, uh, bringing us up to speed with developments in uh, Cape Coast of the arrest of some uh, 34 uh, students of UCC who were arrested 